You can find all the resources and explanation PDF below in the description. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe to support my journey. There are some important things to consider when addressing case studies, which I want to mention before going into details. Firstly, it's crucial to understand the structure of the case study well, as we won't have much time to repeatedly read it during the exam. Once we understand the structure and industry of the case study, for example, whether it's gaming, manufacturing or healthcare, we can more easily apply Google's architectural best practices to the case study. While handling this case study, we will address it according to its characteristics. However, during the exam, it's important to focus on what the question is asking. Therefore, pay attention to key areas in the question, such as security, reliability, cost-effectiveness, performance optimization, and operational excellence. After thoroughly understanding the case study, you can map the most suitable services from the Google Cloud platform for this study. You can find the link in the descriptions as well. Let's start with reading the company overview. Mount Kirk Games makes online, session-based, multiplayer games for mobile platforms. They have recently started expanding to other platforms after successfully migrating their on-premises environments to Google Cloud. Mount Kirk Games focuses on creating multiplayer games where many players can join and play together in real-time sessions. Their most recent endeavor is to create a retro-style first-person shooter FPS game that allows hundreds of simultaneous players to join a geo-specific digital arena from multiple platforms and locations. A real-time digital banner will display a global leaderboard of all the top players across every active arena. Recently, they have been working on a new project, a retro-style first-person shooter FPS game. This game aims to support hundreds of simultaneous players who can join from various devices and locations. The new FPS game will feature a real-time global leaderboard displayed on a digital banner. We need to focus on a few things. What is the Google's best practices for the gaming industry and for a real-time global leaderboard? What is the best way to support hundreds of simultaneous players who can join from various devices and locations? We will answer those questions in the upcoming slides. Let's continue with the solution concept. Mount Kirk Games is building a new multiplayer game that they expect to be very popular. They plan to deploy the game's backend on Google Kubernetes Engine so they can scale rapidly and use Google's global load balancer to route players to the closest regional game arenas. In order to keep the global leaderboard in sync, they plan to use a multi-region spanner cluster. Mount Kirk Games wants to build a new multiplayer game that is expected to be very popular. They plan to use Google Cloud to achieve scalability, low latency, and high analytics capability. The game's backend will be deployed on GKE. This allows the infrastructure to scale rapidly based on demand. Kubernetes helps manage the containers where the game code runs efficiently. Google's global load balancer will route players to the nearest game server, minimizing latency and improving the gaming experience. A multi-region cloud spanner database will be used to store and sync the global leaderboard data. This ensures that the leaderboard is up to date and available in real time for players around the world. I would like to read the existing technical details before starting to create a design for this case study. The existing environment was recently migrated to Google Cloud and five games came across using lift and shift virtual machine migrations, with a few minor exceptions. The company has migrated its infrastructure to Google Cloud using a lift and shift approach. This means they moved their existing applications and workloads to the cloud without making significant changes to their architecture. Each Google Cloud project maintains its own IAM policies to control access and permissions. Let's look into the IAM hierarchy in more details. We have an organization called Mount Kirk. Each new game exists in an isolated Google Cloud project nested below a folder. Legacy games with low traffic have been consolidated into a single project. 
there are also separate environments for development and testing. I feel like understanding IAM hierarchy is very important, so you can also double check the Google Skill Boost courses if you have any doubts. Let's start mapping the best Google Cloud services to this case study. First, we recognize that this case study focuses on the gaming industry. There are two charts from Google's best practices that I want to share with you. The first one is the cloud game infrastructure, and the second one is the best practices for mobile game online architectures. Both of these are crucial and clearly explained. You can find the links in the description. We will have a front end that provides interfaces for clients to interact with, either directly or through a load balancing layer. According to the solution concept, there is a global load balancer at the front end in our case study. For the back end, there will be gaming back end servers. We know that Google Kubernetes Engine, GKE, is used as the back end server for new games. Legacy games, however, are moved using a lift and shift approach, so there will be VMs for those games. Google suggests using Agones for game server management, so we will include that as well. For the real time leaderboard, Cloud Spanner is utilized. Google also supports Memcache and Redis for this purpose, so we will incorporate them as well. Finally, there will be a gaming DB and analytics component. We know that their platform will support various devices. Now let's move on to the business requirements and technical requirements to add more details to this design. Support multiple gaming platforms, support multiple regions. Business requirement one, beyond mobile, they want their games to be playable on different devices like PCs and consoles, ensuring a broader reach. Business requirement two, they need their gaming services to be accessible globally ensuring players from different regions can join and play without significant delays. Cloud Spanner. Support rapid iteration of game features, minimize latency. Business Requirement 3. The ability to quickly update the game helps keep the content fresh and engaging while also addressing any issues swiftly. Let's add CICD pipeline in our design. Business Requirement 4. They want to ensure that the game responds quickly to user inputs to provide a smooth gaming experience, crucial for real-time multiplayer games. Business requirement 5. They need the system to automatically adjust resources according to the number of active players, ensuring efficiency and cost-effectiveness. Auto-scaling. Business requirement 6. Using managed services from Google Cloud reduces the need for hands-on management, allowing the team to focus more on game development. GKE. Business requirement. 7. They want to keep expenses low while maximizing efficiency, especially as they scale up their infrastructure to handle more users and games. Again, auto-scaling. Dynamically scale based on game activity, publish scoring data on a near real-time global leaderboard, store game activity logs in structured files for future analysis, use GPU processing to render graphics server-side for multi-platform support, support eventual migration of legacy games to this new platform. Technical requirement 1. This ensures that the system can handle varying numbers of players without manual intervention. When more players join, additional resources are automatically allocated, and when players leave, resources are scaled down. Technical requirement 2. This means that scores and player rankings are updated almost instantly as players play the game, providing a live and engaging experience for all users. Technical requirement 3. Storing logs helps in analysing past game activities troubleshooting issues, and understanding player behavior. Technical requirement 4. GKE plus GPU Technical requirement 5. Ensuring that older games can be smoothly transitioned to the new cloud-based infrastructure without disrupting service or losing data. Turn microservice first. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this video.